First, you'll arrive at the deploy contract flow. What is that exactly? Essentially, you would need to create a smart contract, which you can learn more about here. Um, that would be the basis of your collection. So a few basic setup. You can set your logo here. I'm going to choose this one. And I can type in a name for my contract. So I might say make waves. And you can see that the token symbol was automatically populated, but you can, you know, add anything here. Freeform. I'm just going to keep it as MW. You can learn about what they are here and how to determine what you want to have a symbol as. And here you choose the blockchain. So this will be set after you deploy a contract. So you can choose, um, you won't be able to change this after. And you can see all the different blockchains and more about them from this uh, link here. But today I'm just gonna go with the most popular chain, ETH. We'll continue. So now I will sign um, to pay for the gas to deploy my contract. Great. My contract has been deployed and I can view the contract on either scan or I can actually just continue to edit. So I will enter here now. So now you go inside the collection editor and you can see that there are a bunch of information that you'll fill out for your collection and your drop. So for the name, um, that's what you filled out for the contract. So that's being ported over here. You can change it if you want to. This is essentially how it would look on OpenSea. Um, and you can fill out the description um, as you wish. A lot of these are um, self-explanatory. You know, you can customize the URL, optionally set categories and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save as is. And you'll come to the collection graphics here. Um, I've actually gone ahead and um, edited these fields. So you already see the media here, but um, this is another easy drag and drop. So these are the secondary earnings for your collection. If you hit add address, um, you will see that you know, it will get populated to essentially the wallet that you're connected to and building out this collection on. Um, this is up to 10%. I'll just make it five. This is also pretty self-explanatory, but you can connect um, and verify ownership of some of the socials um, that you see on OpenSea collection pages, as well as any links. So there are a few important settings here to keep in mind. Um, we have limited edition versus an open edition. So a limited edition obviously has a limited number of items. Um, you won't be able to mint more than the amount. And obviously open edition, you know, you set a time, you can mint as many as you would like. So I'm going to go with limited edition today and I have a collection of 20, so I'm going to rank. And then we have the mint start and date time. Um, and so you can kind of choose on the calendar. This is in your local time. Um, so I might choose this. Actually, let's choose. And then maybe I say and so you'll see that the public stage will be updated with this information. If you would like, you can add pre-sales. So pre-sales are usually used for essentially um, limiting 
access to certain wallets to mint earlier at a different price. You can set all of these things um, with these parameters. The actual wallet limits, um, sorry, the wallets and wallet limits, you can also put um, in a CSV file. So, and you can click this to download the template to actually see what, how you should format it. Per wallet limit, limit also will apply um, globally to this group and allow list. Um, we override essentially this limit with any allow list specific um, per like wallet specific per wallet limits. But I'm going to keep mine simple for today. Um, and I will click into this public stage, which is essentially when anyone can mint. Let's just do something like and let's say. So now that you are done with your settings, let's go to the pre-reveal. So I've already filled out this asset here, but it's another drag and drop or um, upload from, from your files. Essentially, this image will be the placeholder for what all your NFTs will look like before you actually choose to reveal them. Um, you can set a description here. You can learn more about essentially um, what the pre-reveal image is and how this works in this link. And then earnings, you don't um, have to touch here because it's already set up for you. And the drop page, I actually went ahead and uh, edited this beforehand so you don't have to watch me paste in all of these, but it's another pretty easy kind of um, editor system where you can configure how your drop looks, which which NFTs you want to feature, um, and you can kind of uh, craft that as you go. And you can also craft, um, you know, roadmap, team, FAQ. So for the most exciting part, we will go to this item upload tab. And this is the place where you essentially upload all your media for all of your, of your NFTs. Um, and then you can also upload the uh, associated metadata with it. And this is all no code. So you do not have to do anything else besides this outside of OpenSea to make any part of this work. So let's go ahead. I'll select my media. So these are my 20 files for what my NFTs will actually look like. And I highly encourage everyone to download these examples for the metadata. The formatting can be um, detail, a lot of details here. And so it's good to actually see the examples beforehand. But I can drag and drop my CSV file and click upload. Great. You might see if, you know, let's say some of these uh, rows didn't match with the number of files you uploaded. Um, we will show you some error messages to essentially um, fix those issues. And we'll hit continue. Great. So now this has actually been uploaded to OpenSea so that you can preview. And let's see how it turns out. Great. So in this view, there are a few things you can do. You can actually see. Um, Essentially, these are kind of some uh, traits I put in. You can, you know, filter to certain traits. That should work. Um, same here. This one has one. 
you can also search by name or token. So, you know, with 20, you probably don't need to worry about this, but let's say you had a thousand or 10,000 um, and you just wanted to check for some of them. You can say, hey, what does 16 look like? And you can actually find this. And if you click on each of these, um, each of these items, you can actually see what the traits are. You can check if um, everything looks good and you can actually rename these. So you can um, go ahead without going back into your metadata file, say new name. Again. And if you see this, this will have changed it essentially for this one, one NFT. So you could make uh, essentially last minute changes if you want to. Great. So I'm actually feeling pretty ready to publish. So I would go here, hit publish. And with this, you can confirm. Sign. Um, I know you're not seeing it, but you can sign some things that come up in your wallet. And now it's published. Voila, here's your drop page.